Ah, uh, welcome back to today's Bonanza Big Breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Why, well, that's page three, girl, Joe Hicks. Uh, <laughs> when you leave a job, it's not usually just a case of packing your bags and walking out. There are certain procedures and conventions to be followed. Luckily today, Dan and I are getting some expert guidance about the proper oh, yes. etiquette. Oh, yes. In the last ever, mend your manners. Oh, yes. Mend your manners. Here to advise this is our own queen of etiquette. She knows I'm going to do it on the last time. She oh, is. God. Good morning, Drusilla Bafus. Good morning. Um, OK, here to advise us, Drusilla Bafus, as ever. Let's have a look at our first situation, and then we may discuss it, Drusilla. Here it is. It's a very good question, this one, Drusilla. Is it appropriate to use one's leaving speech to settle one's long-standing disputes that one might have? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, one is often tempted to do so, but my view is that it tends to create a rather unpleasant atmosphere. It certainly makes life spicier if you do, but it's probably too late. You're never quite sure whether or not the break's going to be total. So I think the safest rule You're is... never sure the break's going to be total. No, you never know. You never know. We're thinking, we're thinking in practical terms, aren't we? OK. So you so think I leave think, out business, keep it friendly? No, I think you, it's possible to settle those scores if you're really clever. And you can do it in terms of irony and humour. But as a general rule, I say no. OK. OK, thank you. So you're saying no. What do we think here? I'm, I'm going to get a second opinion. Uh, you, you try having a wedding without him. Christopher Biggins. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to agree. Oh, sorry. Well, that, that for me is, that is yeah. emphatic. That's that, that's done. That is law. That's the 11th commandment. Biggins and Drusilla. Uh, so, no. OK, let's have a look at situation number two. Here we go. one's leaving party <laughs> is it would it be acceptable to make a pass at someone you've always secretly had a bit of a fancy for <laughs> what do you think i think you've left it all or the person's left it all a bit too late because if they were going to respond in a favorable way then they would have if you'd given the buzz on the mobile afterwards and if they didn't give them a well, buzz waste <laughs> why not <laughs> OK. So you... <laughs> Wait! Let me finish! Go on, go on, go on. Let me finish. And if they didn't, then you're going to be wasting your time. Okay. And I think, as this we've agreed, this is rather a serious item, not an opportunity for you to show off. OK, yes. thank you very much. Oh! 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 Is it's a me serious up. question. You see how she's the done me up. <laughs> Easy, Drusilla, it's his last day. Oh, no, that's good, though. No, no, Drusilla's the only know, one that does me up. <laughs> he knows I'm a great admirer. I know. We're both, uh, I think, mutual admiration there, is actually. OK, so, so Drusilla, I, I, it's, it's incorrect to make it pass at someone I've always secretly fancied. It's too late. Later, later is okay, the word. OK, if it was going to happen, you should have done it already. Don't yes, wait for that last Or minute. later, as I said. OK, or later. But what, hang on, what if you're both feeling really horny? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. What if, say, well, uh, the end of the show... Well, about goodbyes. I think that they do rather suppress that particular quality that you make. Always. Okay. <laughs> I think the emotion comes out in other ways. It's, hard, it's, it's easier to pull at a wedding than a funeral, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I can't deny that. In my opinion, funerals, I always find an appalling place to try and hook mortality. a, 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 a chick. Uh, so, a did, you, did you know the deceased well? <laughs> Okay. Honestly, um, gall- no, 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 no. Now we've got gallows humour, which so, we've never had before. Which is good, though, isn't it? Yes. Is, is, that, is that all right? Can be, yes. OK, so you're saying so it's in the not right acceptable. Place. Figgins, a second opinion on this, do you? Well, I, I have to disagree here. I, no, you no, no, no. I think if you've got it in you, you've got to go for it. I'm sorry. Absolutely right. Thank you. 
So you're saying go for it at any well, time, any place? Absolutely. Funerals anywhere. OK, <laughs> funerals anywhere. Maybe a bit of a dead end, but you've got right. to go for it, I Births, think. marriages, deaths. Yeah, anything. All three yeah, are, just are go for it. If you've got it there, Biggins. go for it. OK, thank you very much, Christian yeah. Biggins. But I'm still going to go with Drusilla. Oh. Actually, no. Slight spirit. Says, what do we think? Oh, all yeah, those who think... Wait a second. Wait a second. I haven't given you the choices yet, have I? All those who think it's acceptable to pull and go for it. Page three, girls, what do you think? Do you think it's acceptable? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> Dressing room five. <laughs> OK, uh, I think no, that's... No, that's uh, now Simon Fielders. That's now Simon Fielders. Dressing room five. Oh, I haven't got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'll join you. OK, here we go. OK, let's see our last situation. Here we go. <laughs> After one has left a company, is it acceptable to avoid queries regarding future work? Well, my view is that when you've gone, you've gone. And, it, you know, it could, just could go on forever. If you start to... If you remain connected to the company, you take telephone calls, you're involved in faxes, emails. I think it's quite legitimate, really, to call it a day. But I think if you... If you... Sorry. <laughs> sorry, you my so producer, sorry, sorry, my producer's just gone here, 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 here. here. <laughs> Something he's never done before. <laughs> I think if you leave, you leave. But I think if, you, if, if you've got any kind of conscience at all, I think you make absolutely sure when you do leave that there's somebody there that's going to, you know, take over your responsibilities. OK, thank you very much indeed, Drusilla Bafers. I'm going to carry that one straight away. Uh, so I can't, I, I can't work out if it's a yes or no, really. I've left the company's acceptable. Yes, it's it is. Yes. Yes, it is acceptable. I, I didn't know which way it was, fr it was framed. That. Right. OK, do you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, she's delighted us on the odd morning she's been down here. Uh, she's a one-woman walking etiquette machine. Yes. Uh, no. She puts me down regularly, and I sort of love it. <laughs> in, actually, in actually quite a twisted way. Uh, but she is Drusilla Bafers, ladies and gentlemen. Is it acceptable to give someone a kiss at the end of an item if it's the last show? This absolutely proves my general assumption there are exceptions to all rules. Oh, Drusilla oh. Drusilla, I want you to go and muddle in with the page three girls. <laughs> and I want you to flaunt yourself. And there you go. Uh, OK, thank you very much, Drusilla. Now, uh, here's the man who likes it out and about. Uh, it is, of course, Richard Bacon. Here he is. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Secret location this morning. Tony Ryan in just a second. Uh, it is, of course, at uh, the end of an era today with Johnny Vaughan leaving. The shed becomes ownerless, and this morning we are trying to find a new home for it, which is why earlier in the week we asked you to post your three reasons why you would be best able to offer the shed a nice retirement home. We're actually now hiding uh, on the winner's street and we're all going to go and deliver the shed right now. So uh, I've got some uh, shed experts with me who've been guarding the, uh, the cargo here. That's Tom Hanks's autograph on the side, by the way. All right, lads, let's move on. So here they are escorting the shed. It's very much uh, like in the line of fire this morning. Well done, lads. You're doing a great job. Now, the first question I have to ask, give me those. Uh, we have selected the winner for a reason. We asked people to give us three reasons why they'd make the best owner. Uh, where am I this morning? I'll tell you one thing. I'm not in Wales. Uh, these are some of the runners-up I'm reading. Uh, Dave Cheseldine, it's not you, mate. One of his reasons uh, for owning the shed, he said, I could drill a hole in the roof and observe lunar eclipses indoors. Sorry, mate, you're not getting the shed. Lindsay Collins, she wanted to win it. She's from Basildon in Essex. You have not won it, I'm afraid, Lindsay. Good entry there. You said uh, you wanted the shed because you fancy the pants off Vaughnie and he totally gets it. And because I could do with the shed uh, to get away from things I need. And she wanted a bit of Vaughnie after he's gone as well. Uh, and one other entry. Where is it there? <laughs> Uh, also, let me just tell you, it's not going to David Marsh. He wanted it to keep dozens of half-used, dried-up paint tins in. Dave Marsh from... Let me off, screwing him up. Dave from somewhere, Manchester. Dave, you're not getting it. Here we are. I can tell you now that we are in Greys in Essex, and this is the home of the winner here, the shed and his door. Let's hope he's in. I think I'm right in saying, just having a look at the building, it's got... Uh, Paul, Irish Paul... Does it look like it's got a garden? It's got yeah. a garden. In fact, there's three sheds in there already. What? Is he there? OK, there's a cat in the back garden. I'm going to start someone's in. Let me just do uh, the usual trick here. 
Hello, it's Richard Baker for the Big Breakfast. Please come to your door. We have uh, a rather special prize for you. OK, any luck yet? I'm going to keep pressing the bell. Just stick with us. Uh, just, I'm going I'm to keep knocking. Just have a look at the windows, please. Irish producer Paul's going around the back. There's a car on the drive. There's a cat running around the back. I think someone's in. OK, here we go. Here we go. Uh, the door is now opening. Hello. Could you just wait while I get a dressing gown on? Yes, hello there. It's, it's, uh, it's Stephen. Yeah, okay. Okay, can you, could you get your dressing gown, but get a Steve quickly. I've got something rather special. Steve Watson, Hello. Richard right. Bacon from The Big Breakfast. You've just won Johnny Vaughan's shed. Brilliant. Come out, mate, come out here. Come have a look. You sent the best entry onto our website. You gave us three great reasons uh, why you should own the shed. Here we are, look, mate. Here, first of all, is a certificate. Okay, we're going to go out to the shed. The shed's over there. Come with us. We're going to get you to read your reasons in a moment. Steve, let me take your hands and come with me. Come and touch your new shed. Looking in your garden there, mate. Am I right in thinking I saw about three other sheds? Yeah. That's so right. you're, you're a bit of a shed fan? Yeah, I'm a Okay, here we go. Have a look. Touch it, Steve. Touch it. Press your palm onto it. There he meets his shed for the first time. Tom Hanks' autograph on the door. Listen, that's it from us. Just give us an example. I'll tell you, we'll do it later. He's given us three reasons why he should own this shed. It is now his shed. He'll read them out later. We're going to take this apart and put it in his garden. You'll see it there later. Join us for that. Well done, old boy. Uh, meanwhile, this is Channel 4. You're watching The Big Breakfast, and here is a break. Oops.